Hello everyone, this is our first electronic lecture. This is person to person one. As I promised in our introductory lecture from now on, I will be making short electronic lectures and upload them to our official YouTube channel um, before starting our Google uh, Meet lectures. The aim of these mini electronic lectures is not for them to be inclusive, but actually for them to act as references for you for later on. So your participation is still key and uh, valid uh, for our live electronic lectures. Um, actually, person to person one is divided into 12 units, and each unit is divided into two, uh, two conversations, conversation one and conversation two. Uh, uh, most of the time, they bear the same theme. So, in each of these mini electronic lectures, I am going to um, track the the main points uh, of the unit, and then uh, we will discuss them further uh, on our Google Meet lectures. But put in mind that I am going to leave out uh, all uh, the practices that should involve the students. I am not going to do them. I I am not going to say anything about them. I am just going to dismiss them until we get to our Google Meet lectures uh, when um, you will be able to participate and uh, so on. So uh, let's just start with uh, today's, uh, in today's lecture we discuss unit one, uh, both conversations one uh, and conversation two. In today's lecture we talk about how we introduce ourselves uh, to other people, uh, especially for the first time, and how to give our names, occupations, and other personal information to uh, to the people that we meet for the first time, uh, such as newly introduced classmates, colleagues, uh, and uh, other situations in which we need to give our personal information. Now, let's just start with conversation one. In conversation one, we um, meet people for the first time, so how we say that it is nice to meet them, and how uh, we uh, speak about or give them our uh, names, and also uh, uh, briefly speak about uh, what we study or what we do. Now let's read uh, this conversation. Um, this is on CD1 track two. Uh, again, on our uh, Google Meet lectures, I am going to present uh, uh, this uh, uh, this dialogue, uh, I mean the track two from CD1. Uh, now, in today's lecture, uh, in, in today's uh, conversation one, the, there is a dialogue, dialogue between Pat and Bowie. Now, let's get into it. Uh, Pat, the noodles look good. I think I'll try some of them, Bowie. Is the pizza good too? Pat, yeah, the pizza is usually very good. My name is Patricia, by the way. Nice to meet you. Sorry, what's your name again? Patricia, but please call me Pat. Pat, I am Bowie. So, what do you do? I am studying medicine. Really? Yeah. How about you? I am a computer programmer, but now I am studying English. Oh, are you? That's great. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, we would better keep, move, keep moving or we will lose our place in line. Now, if you want to introduce your name to people, um, you can uh, phrase it in this way. My name is Patricia. As simple as that. My name is Patricia. Hello, my name is Patricia. Or you can say, hi, I am Patricia. So it is too simple to waste time explaining this. Now, we are going to leave out this practice. Now, sometimes you do not get other people's uh, names. Um, uh, so you can, in this way, ask them to repeat uh, what they have just said to you. So you can say, sorry, what's your name again? Or, sorry, what's your first name, if you didn't catch their first name? Or, sorry, what's your last name, if you didn't catch their last name? Or you can simply say, sorry, 
I didn't catch or get your name. So you admit to it. You have the right to ask other people to repeat their names. And also other people are allowed to uh, ask you to repeat your name. Now, uh, there is also this thing of uh, asking other people uh, about their uh, asking someone's um, uh, occupation. Uh, you ask in this way, what do you do? The answer might be, I am studying medicine, I am studying computer programming, I am studying engineering, I am studying law, I am studying economics, I am studying philosophy, I am studying art. So uh, all of these specialities mm, can go into, into this. Um, so if you want to ask someone uh, for his or her occupation, you ask in this way, what do you do? Now, sometimes pe people, uh, they do study. Sometimes they do um, a certain job. They are professionals. So um, sometimes the, the conversation doesn't stop at a certain point. For instance, when someone says that he is studying for example, uh, English, or if they say that they are engineers or doctors, uh, you still have this curiosity to know further information about what they do in life. So you ask what further questions about their specialities. Okay, for instance, if somebody says that he is a student, you are interested to know oh, where, do they uh, where do they study? So you ask in this way, what school do you go to? What school do you go to? The answer might be, I go to uh, the University of Basra, or I go to Boston College. Now, uh, the curiosity is still on. So you may ask in this way, what are you studying? I am studying philosophy. I am studying history. I am studying Arabic, uh, any other thing. Okay, so when the curiosity is still on, you ask for further further information, so as for the conversation to keep on. Now, sometimes the other person is not a student but a professional. So, for instance, if he says that he is an engineer, um, you are interested to know what company uh, does she uh, work for. So you ask in this way, what company do you work for? As simple as that. Or um, you uh, may ask about what specifically they do uh, in a certain company or in a certain um, or organization, governmental or uh, others. So uh, for instance, what uh, you ask in this way, what do you do there exactly? I might say I am a translator. I am a designer. Okay, uh, also in, um, here you can see that there are um, a number of vocabularies. You can use them to, to add variety to the conversation in the class. We will do that. And also you can uh, use them to enhance your vocabulary. Here are other um, practices that I, uh, uh, that I am leaving out as of the moment. Now, in conversation two, we continue on the same uh, topic, um, but actually now we uh, just extend the realm of our conversation to include asking about uh, our address or asking about other people about their address, um, about uh, their occupation and other personal information such as email and phone number. So this is conversation two, which is uh, held between uh, Bowie, the same character from the previous conversation, and a librarian. So now we know from the previous conversation that Bowie is a, uh, a student. And uh, here we have the library. He wants to issue a library card, issue a library card, so that he can borrow uh, books from the library, uh, library endlessly. Now, this conversation is on CD1 track 8. Librarian. Yes, uh, can I help you? I like to get a library card, please. Uh, 
Now, uh, uh, see how he phrases um, uh, his request, his need. Uh, uh, I'd like to, I'd like to, in a very polite way, I'd like to get a library card. Please, please do not forget about please. It is uh, really important if you want um, to be polite when you talk to others. Librarian, certainly. First, I'll need some information about you. Could I have your name, please? Now, uh, he is uh, what he is jotting down or he is taking down um, uh, some personal information about um, this student. So he is asking about his name. He is asking this way. Could I have your name, please? Okay, so my name is Bui Zhang and so on. Um, and how do you spell your last name? Sometimes uh, other people cannot spell your name, especially if it is uh, unfamiliar for them. So they have the right to ask you to spell your name. It means to give them uh, the spelling of your name, the letters. Okay, you also have the right to ask other people to spell their names to you. Thank you. Could I please have your address? Now, if you want to ask other people about their address, you ask in this way. Could I please have your address? Uh, Mr. Zhang, 2418 Greystone Road. Is that in New York? Yes, that's right. The zip code is uh, 11211. Okay, and please give me your telephone number. Please give me your telephone number. This is how you ask about the telephone number. It is just the same way. Uh, now he is asking about the email. Do you have an email address? Email address. Uh, are you a student? Yes, I am studying English. Fine. I just need an ID and we will be all set. We will be all set. It means like everything is going the right way. Now, if you uh, you ask about uh, other people's names or if you are being asked about your name, this is the question and answer. Could I have your name, please? Uh, please pay attention to the, to the polite way in which other people or people should uh, phrase um, their questions. Could I have your name, please? Could I have your name, please? It is a very polite way to put your question or how do you spell your first or how do you spell your last name these are the further practices that i am leaving out uh, asking about the address where do you live as simple as that you can ask in this way where do you live or you can ask could i have your address could i have your address please uh, the same way about telephone and email what is your telephone number or what is your uh, email address or please give me your email address or please give me your phone number just the same way.